the city's a sucker. The city's a sucker. My city's a creep. Your city's a sucker. So this tutorial isn't really designed to be like, oh, just follow these steps and you'll get this sound. It's uh, more tailored to uh, showing you guys how to create uh, an algorithm to where you guys can um, add or subtract from it or manipulate it in any way that you feel necessary as far as experimentation goes. So um, if you're not too familiar with, um, with FM synthesis, I suggest watching my video uh, called Understanding the FM Synth, which it goes into a lot of the uh, terms and um, ideas behind FM Synth, and it gets you uh, familiar with um, how things uh, basically work as far as FM goes. I also have a video that, that goes um, into like how to create any um, algorithm using the modular uh, which is a bit more advanced with that but i think the two videos would be a good start um this might be actually kind of a happy in between uh both of these um so anyways we can just go ahead and get started i'll show you how to create a uh, six operator patch and then all of it's being controlled through uh, a main bus out um so if we go right here you can see i have one called five and six three and four one and two these are all the operators that i have here so let's go to five and six and let's create this so if we go here, all we have to do is create a, a two waveform generators. This is pretty much the most basic um, uh, kind of algorithm as far as FM goes. It consists of two envelopes uh, and two oscillators with control voltage into the notes. We can take this uh, second oscillator. This is one, this is two, or in this case, this is five and this is six. Um, and just take the out and put it into the FM of two. So this is going to be the modulator. This is the carrier. We're going to take the envelope here and put it into mod of the first one. We're going to take the envelope of this one, put it into the modulation port of the uh, modulator. Um, and then just take it to out. Very simple to make. This is the, the most simplest FM uh, algorithm. Sounds like this. So to understand kind of what these envelopes are doing, this one controls the volume, nothing but the amplitude. So watch. We can actually plug in oscilloscope real quick. See, it's just create, it's just controlling the amplitude. If we take the uh, K down, simple as that. But if we control this, this is almost like opening up a filter. Uh, it's kind of hard to hear. Let's, uh, um, oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. Hear the difference now that we can do the decay. And then um, another thing to notice is uh, the the gain on this will control the brightness of the sound until there's no FM going on. So take a look at the um, at the voltmeter right here, or the uh, decibel meter. Um, notice how when I turn it up, the volume doesn't go up. Um, this just controls the brightness of the sound. This, on the other hand, does control the volume. So in that basic sense is a very simple FM algorithm that you can use to uh, manipulate the sound. Now, the more operators you add, the more complex and the more really fine tuning that you can, uh, that you can make your patch. So um, I'm going to show you guys what I did uh, now. Like I said, this is all about experimentation and stuff. And this is just the route that I went to create uh, the sound. 
So we can just go drop these down. Take the decays to here. Now, the decay won't do anything unless you change the sustain. So we can take the sustain to right here, and we're left with this. But I'm also going to make it just a bit less bright. Or no, no, no. We're going to make this brighter. And just turn the volume down a tiny bit. Let's actually drop the octaves down so we can kind of mess with... There we go. That's more of the octave that we're going to be uh, using. So um, to save time, I already pre-did this. So just remember, two oscillators, two envelopes, plug, plugged in very simple, just into the mods, and then make sure you FM this. So what I did on the second one was I just left everything the way that it was. And um, I brought the release up on this. So it's... When messing with the releases, um, it's I recommend at first doing the same one. Hear the difference? It just makes things a bit more simple. And same with like the semis and stuff like that. You can make stuff sound real gross real quick. Hear the difference with just changing the semi just by one? Now watch what happens. Much better. So, um, if you're just starting, um, you got to be careful with some of the settings that you do, especially when you mess with the tuning of the oscillators. It can really make stuff sound bad really fast. Uh, so, for the decays, I'm going to put them both up to here, and then we can just drop the sustain down here. So, if we flip it over, um, just turn it down a bit. Turn this bit up. But I'm also going to take these down. This just makes the... So there's full, linear, and exponential. Uh, all it does is just change the cutoff slope of what the, what the thing is doing. Hear that? Now watch me take it down to exponential. Much sharper. So let's just leave it there and we can move to the next one. So for the number one and the number two, I'm going to change this to here. And I'm actually going to mess with the attack on here. There we go. You can get that whole kind of filter opening up sound with it. Take this up, these down to here, and then we're going to. Just lengthen the note a tiny bit. Okay. So let's flip this around, turn this down a bit, and then we're going to make these exponential as well. And that's enough for this patch. Maybe turn. All right. So another thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down and I'm going to add distortion to every single one of these. We're going to turn it to fuzz, turn the amounts up, and this is going to be slightly up. Makes a huge, huge difference in the sound. Uh, another thing that you can also do if you want is you can take this one, sometimes uh, it um, oscillate, like the modular can uh, run in, into itself if you FM in itself, but it can sound really bad if you have it too high so listen horrible but if you bring it down you can add just that little bit extra grit if you want but we're not going to do that that's just something extra that you can do um so we're going to control all these things that we just created with the main bus out so to create this we're going to put three machine inputs and each one of these is going to control those operators that we created. So we can go, whoops, one and two. This is gonna be three and four. This one's five and six. Be sure to send notes to the source. So we need a mixer. We're 
we're going to do a three input mixer for it. Um, we're going to also add a decay envelope. No, 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 let's do the filter. Let's do a vintage ladder. And then we're also going to put a decay envelope to this and then we can plug in an oscilloscope. So what I recommend is routing it into the way where the wires aren't gonna be crossing. Like if you do something like, uh, like this, things start getting crossed, stuff like that. So if you do something like this, it can get a little bit messy. So what I suggest is just kind of routing it in a way where the wires kind of miss each other, like this. Then we can take this out, run it into here. So this is two things. If you run it through the end of this, it has to come out of the top one. If you run it through the bottom, it has to come out the bottom. So we can take this, since we plug in the bottom, this is just going to go straight in here. So look, the wires are nice and clean. Uh, also, we're going to take this decay and put it into the cut of here and make this exponential. So we should have... Okay, so it sounds bad because if we take it down to our mixer, all these are turned up. So we're getting all these different sounds and the main bus isn't controlling it uh, because these are each sounding. So we want it only to come out of the main bus out. So we're gonna take every single one of these and turn them down. Okay, now all the sounds will be coming out of this bus out. So if we go here, The reason it sounds like that is because this cutoff decay. Now listen to it. So it's a bit bright, so let's take the cutoff. Sounds decent. Now we got that real metallic sound that we we're going for. So I already have the notes programmed in here just to make things a bit easier. So if we just hit play, it should uh, play the way we want it to. Okay, something's off, and so let's figure out why that sound is off. We gotta make sure everything is, let's just mute these. I think that was the problem, three and four was still on. Let's listen to it. Okay, now we're not getting that hiss. I think three and four was just slightly turned up, and that's why we were getting that kind of background noise. So this is just the route that I took to kind of, uh, let's turn this up a bit, to, uh, to get the sound like this. So if we go here, you can control the sound through here and you can really fine tune it the way you wanted it. And that's why it's best to run everything through a bus out so you can control all the sounds at once. the difference when I change just one of them. Listen again. They all complement each other to make this one sound and that's why you can throw things off by just um, messing with uh, the attack times, the sustain, the decays, everything like this can really throw the sound off. And that's why it was, I was pretty much just telling you, this is what I did to it. Because even I start getting confused when it starts coming with, well, what's it going to sound if I do it like this and stuff that I can't give you a direct answer unless I'm listening to it and I start messing with it. 
on there. So um, that's how we did this. Now, if you're thinking that it's too too much, like, well, I'm not going to use four of these, you know, just for a song. So this is where you can take, go to Tools, Merge Racked Instrument. So all you have to do is just turn this bus out. So um, now this is kind of hit and miss. Sometimes it doesn't give you the exact sound that you want for some reason. So right now it sounds like it is. So let's just assume that it's going to do the right thing. So if we hit export, we can go to the octave range. Now, since this is a bass, we're not really going to be going over the two octave range. So we can go down to here. And then for a sample every semitones, usually it's best to do at least three. But if you want, if you can spare the file size, I would go down to two or even one. But we can do like two semitones and we can title it just FM Base 2. Done. So you can preview it. Sounds a little funky, but, uh, hmm. All right, let's just see. Let's put the time on it to two seconds. Okay, let's just export it and see what happens. Okay, it's done. So let's take a look at it. Let's go here and put in... PCM synth and it automatically saves it to here. So all we have to go down is to FM base. There's the two. Now let's uh, bring it down to one, the polyphony, because it's a base. Now let's listen to it. Let's, uh, can, let's compare it to what we have. Doesn't even sound like that. You hear that? And that's why it's a little funky, because, like, this is not what it was sounding like when it gave me the option to export it. See, funny. There's just something slightly off about it. So, um, you know, welcome to Caustic, you know. <laughs> that's all I could really say. And for those who've been using caustic for um for quite some time, they'll understand uh that joke. Welcome to caustic. Yep, just another thing that's slightly off. Um so anyways, yeah, I think this is enough to get you guys started in the uh right direction. So thanks for watching. Cue the music. Your city's a sucker. Your city's a sucker. My city's a creep. Your city's a sucker. Your city's a sucker. My city's a creep. Your city's a sucker.